Hey everyone, and welcome back to Game Maker Cast. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a particle editor that I'm releasing for free, and you can grab the source code off of itch.io and also the Patreon site. Let's roll that introduction and get right into it. When you first load up the particle editor, you'll have this nice particle effect in front of you. You can go file new or you can just hit control N and you'll get a new particle effect every time you reload the application. What I'm going to do to showcase this is create a nice fire effect and this is the one that I did in a previous video. So first I'm going to go over to type and you can see we have all these types here. I'll scroll down to sprite as I want to load up a specific sprite here. I'm going to click on load sprite and choose my fire particles. Now right now it's using the entire sprite so I want to say that this has four different frames. If we take a look at these four frames, let's load up a sprite. You can see it's kind of hard to see but my frames are in here and this is what we're going to be using as the actual sprite. So I'll close this and I'll finish this off because I know that my x origin in the middle is going to be 4x4 four four, and I want it to choose a random frame. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my emitter. I want to change my width all the way to 512 and set my height to zero. I can keep this as rectangle or I can choose line and I'm going to set my particle count all the way up to the maximum just so we can see what's going on. I can use my mouse wheel to zoom out or use the middle mouse button to drag my particles around. Let's go over to the basics tab and let's set some of this stuff up. We want to use full alpha for the start, middle and end we can click this button to reset the size, the scale, and the lifetime just to something default. For the size, I need to edit these actual values, so I'll hold down control and then left click, and I'll use 0.5 and 20 as my particle effects, and then I'll use minus 0.06 to bring them back down as the increase. The scale, I'm going to half to say 0.5 in each, and the lifetime, I'll say something like 20 and 140. And moving over to the motion, let's reset the speed and direction. We don't have to worry about the orientation gravity because they are zero. Let's set our speed to something like six. Now let's set our direction up, which is 90 degrees. And you can see we already kind of have a nice fire effect here. The last thing we want to do is go over to colors. I want to make sure that this is additive. If we say no, you can see we get this kind of ugly color here. So you want to make sure that it's additive and it can be blended. Let's change from gradient into mix. The two colors that we're going to be using is some sort of yellow and then some sort of red. And now what we have is a nice fire that we can kind of use in our game. Now what we can do is we can go out to particle and we can either use the wrapper, which is found in a different video, or you can copy it to original GML code. If I copy it to the original GML code, you can see that it's been copied to the clipboard. And if I load up notepad here, and I paste this in, you can see this is the code that we get. We create a particle system, a particle type, it creates the emitter for us, sets up the region, sets the shape that we want and the distribution, and then it goes ahead and creates the default particle. And then you can see here we are streaming those particles. If we were to come back and use the wrapper, we copy that and paste it in, you can see it's pretty much the same thing. We create an instance of that wrapper, we set the shape and distribution, and then we go ahead and set everything else. And then we can use this new position, set position, to have it follow our mouse within our code. But anyway, that's a short little thing here. Like I said, you can download this all for free. If you find any bugs, just post on itch.io. You can get the source code from the Patreon site or itch.io. All links will be found in the description below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. A special shout out to those on Patreon in no particular order. Paul, David, Robert, Game Making Community, Victor, Timothy, Ashby, Ken, and Mary. Once again, thanks for watching the video. You can find all the links in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.